Few resources are more valuable when providing disaster relief or humanitarian aid than real-time information. And in emergency settings and in many low to middle income countries throughout our region, government services and infrastructure are often stretched, in some areas especially so. This makes reliable, timely, comprehensive data collection incredibly challenging. This is why many international and regional organisations and national governments are turning to new digital data sources and tools of data science to try to make their humanitarian interventions better targeted and more effective. Commercially available satellite image data, social media streams, anonymised mobile phone data and other digital records of purchase behaviour, these and more can be analysed using data science techniques for real-time insight into socioeconomic and environmental conditions in particular areas. Data of these kinds equip us to draw powerful inferences about when and where people are suffering most and respond accordingly. There is now a movement underway around the Pacific Rim and elsewhere in the world to mobilise big data to benefit the most needy and vulnerable. Sometimes the term used for this movement is data for development. Elsewhere it's known as digital humanitarianism. Now there is a lot of excitement around these terms and the kinds of tailored, just-in-time humanitarianism that they might make possible. This is understandable, as there are very promising studies being conducted and innovative programs being piloted of this kind. One that I've been studying is a United Nations initiative known as UN Global Pulse, which is working on a wide range of data science pilot projects. In Jakarta, for example, UN Global Pulse is developing a tool called Cyclamon, to help governments and NGOs better support communities as they prepare for and respond to tropical cyclones. Cyclamon collects, analyzes and visualizes information from weather satellites on the path of a cyclone and combines this with insights drawn from social media on the preparations and impact of the cyclone on communities in its path. Hearing about tools like Cyclamon it's very easy to get caught up in excitement about the technical possibilities that initiatives like UN Global Pulse showcase. But there's one dimension of this movement that doesn't seem to be attracting very much attention, and that is the human side of digital humanitarianism. When we enable governments, humanitarian and development agencies to see in new ways with the aid of large-scale digital data streams, we also introduce blind spots. We know this from several centuries of experience with statistical methods, predictive modelling and quantification. Certain questions become harder to ask. Some concerns become more difficult to raise. As some claims, conditions and styles of reasoning and understanding get thrust into the foreground, others tend to recede into the background. We still don't know anywhere near enough about how human decision makers interact with powerful data visualisations or the inferences that they invite. We still know relatively little about the normative tendencies these tools elicit or the understandings and misunderstandings that they engender, both among decision makers and the publics they aim to serve. We need to know more about the inbuilt biases and priorities of different data science techniques and how to grapple with them. This is the research that I'm doing in collaboration with others here at UNSW and partner universities. Using a combination of social science and legal research techniques and working closely with data scientists and development professionals, we are studying how political and legal relationships may change or may be imagined in new ways when data science is used to distribute scarce resources within a needy population. New human-machine interactions are redefining how we approach development and humanitarian work. We need to be sure we advance our thinking and understanding about the human side of these interactions as much as we focus on the extraordinary developments taking place on the machine side.